Hello guys, my name is Ashmore and this is 49ers News. Uh, sorry I haven't been posting uh, lately. Hospitality has been very, very busy in London, in England in itself. It's very, very chaotic. And um, at the moment I've just got in, I'm basically doing the 49ers News on my phone and reading off my tablet. So basically I'm going to go from there. And uh, this 49ers News is on Richard Sherman. Um, this is on uh, NinersNation.com. Um, according to Niners Nation, um, ESPN predicts Richard Sherman will return to the 49ers and, uh, and sign a one-year deal. This is terrible. Like, I don't want to hear it, but this is one of the news I just wanted to let you guys know. This is by uh, Cole uh, Posey on the NinersNation.com. So let's read it. So, as Julio Jones comes to the topic of discussion, especially he went on live TV and said, I'm out. Uh, I'm out of there on Monday morning, um, speaking of his uh, situation in Atlanta. There are some other uh, potential names that could help plenty of teams out there, including the 49ers. CBS Sports' Jonathan Jones reported that no team um, had made the Falcons a legitimate trade-off for Julia. The saga is fun to talk about, but I don't think we'll get anywhere anytime soon. ESPN predicted the top landing spots for some of the top free agents in the NFL, including former 49ers cornerback Richard Sherman. According to Bill uh, Barnwell, uh, Sherman will be back in the Bay Area. Okay, it's a prediction. Signs one year, $4 million deal with the 49ers. So that's his prediction. Signs one year, $4 million with the 49ers. Sherman wasn't healthy and he was on the field, didn't have his best season, but it was an um, event that injuries got the best of him. It's tough to protect, uh, it's, it's, sorry, it's tough to uh, project what Sherman will look like coming off uh, what was all about a season ending injury. The addition of Sherman will give the 49ers much needed insurance at cornerback. Uh, it will allow um, Emmanuel Mosley to continue to serve as the, uh, the uh, agility cornerback, although uh, I believe he's ready for the bigger role. The good news, the 49ers is there not have to rush to sign a veteran like Sherman. If the team likes what they see in Mosley, Jason Verne and uh, Avery Thomas, but then have to sign Sherm. The two names that I thought were interesting were Justin Houston and Melvin Ingram. Like Sherman, the Niners ain't in a position where edge rusher is a dire need. You can use OTA's minicamp and training camp to see how uh, Samsung, uh, Samsung um, E. Bookman looks his first season as a full-time pass rusher. Uh, is Nick is Nick Bosa back to the dormant form or will he need some time? Will 49ers uh, get anywhere from default? As you go down the roster, there are other questions you ask. Barnwell predicted that Melvin Ingram will sign a one year deal with 5.5 million with the Chargers and that Justin Houston will sign a one year deal worth 6 million with the Ravens. Once the team signs the entire draft class, the 49ers will be between 10 and 11 million dollar in uh, app space. Adding a veteran rusher helps you pass rush linebackers and second and secondary. I, I think long and hard about signing Houston or Ingham. If I don't like what I saw during these upcoming camps from the current edge rushers on the roster. Okay, so Sherman, should we do it? Should we not do it? My answer is no. Yes, okay, you can say it was injuries, this, that, and the other, but you know, it's hard to um how can i put it it's at the moment jimmy g bosa kittle are the ones to watch with injuries leave your comment you tell me what you think i think they're the ones to watch do you want to add richard chairman on if in case he has an injury he's not quick anymore i mean he's in his middle 30s 33 34 or something so do you want a veteran cornerback has an injury and he's out. Me personally, one year deal, five million, ain't worth it. All right, we could all argue that, you know, what we signed, you know, all the other players of how much money and they've had injuries and so forth. But Richard Sherman, you know, I'm not too sure about that, you know. Um, me personally, I wouldn't have him, but if they sign him, they sign him. And if if they sign him, he needs to improve, man. Like he needs to, you know, be out there and say, "Look, this is what I can do better than last year, last season." 
but me personally, I wouldn't have him. But time will tell. Uh, tell me your predictions. Tell me your thoughts in the comments. Do you think we should have Sherman back? Should we have Sherman back? Do you think he's worth five million? Do you reckon he's worth a one-year deal? Let me f uh, give us your thoughts down in the comments below, guys. And yeah, that's it for the story. Uh, thanks for the 35 subscribers. I really appreciate it. Really fortunate to have you guys and humble to have you guys as well. And um, yeah, thanks for guys for watching and I will see you guys uh, on the next video.